What's up guys, this is your boy Rusim, and as I told you, if we had new events coming up on Rapelzi, we're going to have Rapelzi news. So as some of you may know, uh, the Valentine's Day event just hit the Rapel servers, and we're going to be taking a look how's it going on this video. But before we start, don't forget, I am still running the promotion for the Raspberry Pi Portable Rapelzi Game PC, and all you need to do to enter is Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like, and hit that notifications bell to know, and hit that notifications bell to know the results in March. Alright, and let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so a couple of things uh, before I start discussing that new event. Uh, for all the information I could gather, we're not going to have the Lunar New Year's event. Uh, it's kind of weird because it had been something that we see every year. Um, I guess just changed, you know, they changed publishers and everything. So we're going to be missing on those tomatoes, I guess. Now, the Valentine's Day event, uh, I ran for a few hours this morning after the servers went up and basically I ran it on the Circus Dungeon, mostly because it's more accessible for most people. And I can say that for each run, I get around six different types of chocolates. So uh, not really bad drops, but then again, one thing a lot of people don't realize is the less the servers are crowded, the more drops you're going to get. Now I cannot confirm for some of those event drops. Um, I do know for a fact for some special cards and some special equipment, uh, they have a limited number uh, to drop every hour or every day. But I did notice that every time we have drops during events, um, this is something that you're going to see across the board, the crowded the server is, the less you get those drops coming up. Right now is great. I have between five to seven, so average like six. But I know as the servers get more crowded, it's probably going to drop to around four per run. Now, just so you guys know, in about an hour run, I got about a hundred different boxes. Um, what is not that bad? Um, what happens? Right, the only problem with those boxes, right? Those chocolate boxes is. They don't really give you much if you just use them separately. Uh, basically, one of them is 5,000 HP, the other 5,000 MP, and the other two are level 5. Um, they work like a level 5 potion for attack or spell casting. So, not that great. Now, what you can do is you can go to Laxi and actually exchange 10 of those chocolate boxes into a white event ticket that is not up yet and we don't have information enough to know what is going to happen. Um, so it seems to be pretty much worth to just accumulate those for right now and exchange them into event tickets, even I get it, not knowing what the event ticket is, but in reality I don't really have that much use for um, the chocolate box otherwise. And the most because they're timed, therefore it's gonna spoil at some point. So I would say I know it's a future event and it may add up to nothing, but as of right now I would just exchange the new tickets. That's probably the best thing. But yeah guys, as of now nothing that crazy going on. Um, as soon as I know more about the white ticket event, uh, I'll let you guys know. I know it's pretty quick today. I just want to keep you guys updated. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, all that stuff. Leave us a comment. Uh, share this video if you want to. Uh, thank you very much. And as always, I'll see you in the game.